Oh, hi there. My name is Milud Vantunis Mek. Nice to meet you. I am a professional and expert in understanding Tunisian men behavior. Because Tunisian men are really hard to catch, they ask me about uh, the secret recipe and uh, I'm going to help them. Coming up on today's video. Before we get started, am I brighter this time? Last time they told me I was very dark. Is it better? Are you seeing the magic? Is it gorgeous? Is there any echo? Definitely there, it, there is not. I'm not in an empty space at all. If you decided to put yourself in the trouble of having a Tunisian or North African man boyfriend, then I'm here to put you in more trouble. I'm going to help you and give you the secret and the easiest way to catch your Tunisian man or North African man's heart. First of all, let me sit because this lens is really, really heavy. First of all, let's get it clear from the start. There are some things, some behaviors in some women that simply are not compatible with uh, Tunisian men or any Arabic uh, national culture. Let me clarify. Generally speaking, and uh, I say clearly, generally, don't quote me on that and don't quote me on anything on today's video, actually. <laughs> if you are the type of woman who would like to go outside without telling anyone any time, how many times you want, if you are the type of woman who would like to wear whatever you want, how you want it, when you want it, to meet whatever you want, with my friend, my old, I honestly, I honestly will tell you, Tunisian or North African man or any probably Arabic man is not your type of boy. That's in my opinion. And I'm saying clearly, generally, probably you will find some boy who is uh, open and will accept that. Who cares? You are lucky you get your boy and that's it. But in generally speaking, Arabic or in Arabic culture or North African man culture, these things are not really well accepted. So strong uh, character women, strong women in general, in general, hard-headed women, all these types of women are not well, uh, well accepted by a Tunisian men. And here I will tell you why. Don't go immediately into your keyboard. In Tunisian culture, or in Arabic Islamic culture in general, the man is the leader of the family. Maybe you will tell me, oh, all of you are uh, controlling and this type of things, but honestly, we are not. It's just something different than Western men. It's some, just something carried by the, our culture. Uh, this is how we, we are and that's it, if you accept it or uh, don't accept it. I'm gonna stand up for this. If you would like to catch your Tunisian man, the thing that you should do the first is to win the heart of his mom. This is the first thing that you should think about. Because, you know, finally the Tunisian or, or Arabic or North African man in general is really influenced by his mom. So if you catch the heart of his mom, somehow, I don't know, maybe you bring her some gift, maybe you... Uh, you try to discuss with her, uh, accept what she asks you, help her somehow, give her some, uh, I don't know, some uh, help in the house. Uh, you will get a really, really, really strong support. Because also this is another thing carried by the culture. If the mother of the, the boy is, uh, if she liked you, I mean, if she accepted you, it means finish. Uh, she will not have any objection of on the marriage. She will not have any, any issues to having you in her house or uh, with her kids. So this is really, really the very smart way to enter uh, your Tunisian man's heart. The second important tip if you decided to put yourself in this trouble is the other way to Tunisian man's heart is definitely his stomach. If you know cook and if you can do it very well, you are, uh, you are getting a star, magic star in a Tunisian men's heart. So if you, especially if you can make Tunisians, Tunisian food, wow, you are the best woman ever existed. And uh, this will not only will help you with uh, get your Tunisian men's heart, it will help you get his mother's heart as well. So this is a key point. Are you hearing the noise? My boring neighbors. 
Okay, let's carry on and let's continue. The next tip to your, the next key to your Tunisian man's heart is to beautify yourself for him only. Highlight on the word for him only. If you beautify yourself for him, if you are meeting him, if you are dating him, if, if you decided to go together, in any event and you beautified yourself for him, this is very well seen. And uh, this shows immediately to your, to your, uh, your boy that uh, you are his, uh, you are interested in him, you want, to, you love him, you want to show your beauty to him. This is very important thing. And uh, as I said, uh, just for him, because if you, for example, are going with your friends, try to know make the same level of beautification. Yes, this is an English word. The, the, make it less. Try to be more modest once you are going alone or with your other with other friends. At least you make him feel that uh, he is special for you. He is the most important thing. You are doing your max just for him, not for anybody else. I know maybe you're thinking this is weird things, maybe you are not used of this type of uh, things with your uh, men's, but with the men's there, but uh, this is how we are and this is how we see things. We are not all chickens, we are not all, everybody they have their culture, everybody they have their own perception of the things. Yes, this is a good word. And uh, here also I know a lot of uh, women, they will come and tell me, oh, I will give him a visa, he will immediately fall in love with me, I will give him a Schengen visa, I will give him US visa, green card, I will send him money. I know you are talking these stories in your forum and uh, you are a loser, but here we are really, we are not talking about love rats. We are talking about the real, the real loved ones, the ones that really love each other and they want to build their honest love. We are not talking about this type of losers, including this type of women as well, that they pretend to be a victim. You are not a victim. You know exactly what you are doing. Okay, I, hopefully you already subscribed to my channel and if you, and you liked today's video, and if you'd like to see more of these type of videos, how's the stabilization? How's the autofocus? Make sure to subscribe to our channel and let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, I hope to catch you in the next one. I'm gonna leave. Is it better? I'm gonna leave. I get it.